Okay, everyone, we are back with the Shark Vertex powered lift away. This machine says they have the hyper velocity, strongest suction of any vacuum at the hose. It says bristles leave cleaning gaps and wrap hair. Power fins has flexible silicone that dig deep into carpets, directly engage floors, picks up more hair with no hair wrap. It says it picks up more dirt in every pass. The power fins have two brush rolls. It has the self-cleaning brush roll. Same on this side, same on this side. Oh yeah, it has the powered lift away. It has the above floor cleaning and it's got the anti-allergen sealed system, the anti-allergen complete seal. It says no vacuum emits cleaner air, 99.99% of dust and allergens at 0.3 microns. It says unsealed HEPA vacuums leak dust and allergens back in the air. Well, completely sealed HEPA system keeps dust and allergens out of the air you breathe. But there's one thing I gotta look at and that is this vacuum that they made. So it's got a carpet cleaner tank here. It's got the cyclone area, this piece here of a Dyson. It's got this part of a Hoover and then it's got a Hoover brush roll with a Dyson looking base. Interesting. All right, so uh, we're gonna open this up. There's not much else to go over on the box, so we'll be right back. Okay, let's unbox the Vertex. So, uh, let's open it up. Open it here. All right, so we have instructions on this piece of cardboard. We have a tool. It's the, oh, it's the Pat Curvis tool. It's got these little rubber fins right here. That's a pretty good attachment. We have this, this is the self-cleaning pet upholstery brush. It has these rubber fins. It's made to not tangle with hair. That's pretty cool. We have another tool right here. This would be the multi-purpose attachment. No tape on this one, thankfully. It's just in cardboard. The tape is annoying, so I'm glad they did that. That's a little stiff for dusting, but it should work fine. Here's the tube. We're gonna take that out later, because it's stuck. Here's the hose. Ooh, comfortable. Power button here. Thick carpet area rug, hard floor off. Pretty usual uh, shark hose. This is an electric hose, because you turn the vacuum on and off through this. See that big air opening, and that really big seal. There's the power connections and everything. Pretty nice. Let's put that there. Now we can lift this up. That is really stuck. Oh, come on now. Don't give me this. There we go. And it's still stuck. One more piece of cardboard. Now that's what's keeping it stuck. The power head is here. Oh, God, that's heavy. Oh, come on now. This definitely is not a lightweight vacuum. It's really big. Yep, here's the power head. Number one, can we attach the power head to the wand? Oh yeah, baby. Oh, now this, if you got stairs, oh boy, that's gonna clean them. You got whatever this thing is for. This little brush right here. No idea what this is for, but it's not supposed to come off that I know of, but. If anyone knows what this thing here does, please tell me. There's just this little, little brush right here. Power fins, brush, power fins, brush. So, soft roller. It is removable. You press right here, and now the soft roller comes off. 
combs right here. Pretty large and substantial power head. Looks like like 10 LEDs at the front right there. That's pretty good. So next should be the wand. It comes out this time. Ooh, gold. Aluminum wand. Pretty similar to other sharks. And then the next would be the power unit, the motor. It's honestly not as heavy as I thought it would be. I thought it would be really big and heavy, but it's honestly not that bad. The weight is all just motor. Dang, pretty cool. Let's uh, take the bin off. You press here for the bin. Pretty usual shark cyclone. Oh, you open right here. You can see there's the cyclone right there, comes in through here, a bigger air opening. Metal cyclone like this. Pretty usual, pretty usual. Seals, of course, everywhere because it is a sealed system. Seal, seals, seals on the top, seal here. Everything is a completely sealed system. You can see Shark has changed the filter design. Instead of having that little round cup, you have your pre-filter number one, and you have pre-filter number two, and there is your Vertex's motor. Now, it's definitely not a regular vacuum motor. Like something that you find on a Bissell or a Hoover or something, it looks way different got an interesting looking fan. And I was wondering, where the heck is the HEPA filter? Well, let me show you. Let's press here, and it's on the bottom right here. This is washable, you click like this, and it's really stuck, but, dang, that's a big motor right there. It's huge. Huge vacuum motor. Washable HEPA, this is what traps your allergens, your dander, and everything. And that locks in there extremely tight. And then if that lock doesn't completely seal it, you got a second thing which forces the filter down. And the air just comes up around and out the front like that. There's a close up of the, well not really close up, but there's what the motor looks like. 11.8 amps. That's a pretty powerful shark. Most of them are like 10. So increased motor power probably have to to get the amount of airflow that this thing has <laughs> but yeah that's the hand pod unit whatever you want to call it all right let's attach everything together power head wand pod hose Hose up here. One rotation because it was twisted a little bit. Cord clip. And that's everything. Tools. Please say you can attach this to the back of the vacuum. No. No. Dang it. The upholstery tool, in my opinion, is the most important thing to attach. Uh, I guess we just can attach these. Oh well. That's it, a 30 foot power cord rather than the 25 on some of the other sharks. So that's good. Should be able to do a lot of cleaning, no extension cord required. 30 feet's enough to do most of a room without any issues. I'm really interested in doing an airflow test on this because according to shark, it's the most powerful suction of any upright. So we're gonna see to use it. Of course, it's just really stiff to recline. Pretty uh, interesting design, but set it to carpets. Power button's right on here in the handle. Weight-wise, it's heavy, but not unbearable. So I would call it a, about probably way similar to the Dyson Ball Animal 2, I would say. Remove that. And here's everything you get with your Vertex. I'm glad they give you this tool. Wonder why they don't include the mini motorized tool, even though this tool is probably better because it's zero M. It's pretty easy to take apart. Just 
these two clips here and if you ever get it clogged somehow there you go pretty easy access metal drive gear that's good right there pretty cool tool attaches to the either the end of the tube here or the end of the full wand that power head is going to be a stair cleaning monster <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna do a pretty good job, I will say. You will have to carry the pod because it does not, the hose is only five and a half feet, so you will have to carry this with you. But uh, I'm pretty sure that this will deep clean stairs better than anything else you can uh, clean your stairs with. <laughs> so uh, yeah, this is one monstrous vacuum. So please, Hope you enjoyed this and uh yeah i will see you with more videos next time goodbye <laughs>